I will be in Punta Cana on January 16 and will be there for a few weeks. If you wish to meet with me to discuss real estate investment opportunities and see some of the options available to you, I'll show you around personally. Shoot me an email to mikemastispresents at gmail.com and call me or text me to 484-944-1621. So you want to invest in real estate in Punta Cana? Great, but why? Well, besides the obvious reasons being the weather and beaches. Is it to move your family into a bigger home or a place to move into when you retire? Do you just want to have a summer home or a vacation home? Or maybe you're thinking about rental income. Whatever reason you have for investing in real estate in Punta Cana, congratulations, it's a great move. But there are things to consider before making this very important and possibly costly decision depending on your budget. In today's video, I will be touching up on some of the things you need to take into consideration first so you can then make an educated decision and get into a property that makes sense for you. Quick disclosure, this is not financial advice. I'm neither a financial advisor nor an attorney. It is important that you do your due diligence and learn as much as you can on the topic before making any decisions. That being said, let's begin. The first thing you need to do after deciding on Punta Cana is looking for the right location. Because in the real estate world, the most important thing is location. Punta Cana has many different parts to it. If you look at Google Maps, you can see how much territory is within the boundaries of Punta Cana. The main part of Punta Cana is where the Punta Cana International Airport is and its surrounding areas, such as the exclusive Punta Cana Village. If you go south from there, you'll go into Capcana, which is also an exclusive area with some of the most expensive real estate in the area. It is an area with some of the top shelf, all-inclusive resorts in front of one of the most beautiful beaches in the country, Juanillo Beach. Capcana has real estate in the millions of dollars, but there are also lots of real estate that are in the $500,000 range and under. Capcana is also home to one of the top golf courses in the world, Punta Espada Golf Course, designed by the world-famous golfer and golf course designer Jack Nicklaus. Capcana is also where you'll find a beautiful marina with plenty of choices of restaurants and bars. My two favorites are Aura and La Yola. You must try these out. In transparency, I'm not endorsed by them to say this, but my experience was such that I must share it with you all. Leaving Capcana, heading north, you'll go into Bávaro, Macao, and Ubero Alto. This is where the bulk of the tourism heads to due to the number of amazing all-inclusive resorts, public beaches, and activities for all age groups, as well as the opportunity to co-mingle with the locals and visit their shops and restaurants. There are lots of real estate investment opportunities here. You can buy an apartment between a studio and three bedroom starting at about $80,000, and it can go up to as high as $1 million plus. Apartments are mostly purchased to use for Airbnb, and most of this new construction will be finalized by 2024 and 2025. Some have already been completed in 2022 and now more in 2023. There are plenty of choices in villas as well, from two to five bedrooms with plenty of land. Okay, so once you've found an area you like, the next thing to consider are the amenities and conveniences you get with your investment. Is it gated with security 24-7? Is there a children's park and pool? Is it pet friendly? Will it have a restaurant and bar? Will it have a gym? How about a co-working space? Is there a school nearby for my children? What's the distance to the main shopping center? It's very important to take this all into consideration because again, if you're looking to live there, you want to be able to have options and conveniences. And if you're going to use it for rental income, you want to make sure that the amenities and conveniences will appeal to those looking for a place to stay and enjoy. As far as the beach is concerned, it really isn't far from anywhere. So unless you want to live within steps of the beach, most of the projects are nearby and are within 8 to 15 minutes, depending on time of day and traffic condition. Something important to find out is, does the project you're looking for have the benefit of the Comfortor Law? Now, for those not familiar with this, this law allows for the exemption of the 1% property tax for 15 years. It also allows for the exemption of paying the 3% title transfer fee at time of closing. Many, but not all projects, have this benefit with their projects. But what if the project does not offer the benefit of the comfort to law? In that case, you have to pay the 3% title transfer fee at the time of closing, but as far as the 1% property tax, currently you will only have to pay for any amount that exceeds the ballpark figure of $150,000. So for example, if the price of your property is $200,000, you are only required to pay 1% yearly property tax on $50,000, which comes up to $500. 
So it's important to find out if the project you're looking into offers the benefit of the Comforter Law. Next thing to consider is the duration of the construction phase. One year? Two years? Three years? Is it enough time for you to make your payments without causing hardship? Would it be possible to pay it off in full during the construction phase so you can avoid taking on a mortgage? You need to carefully dissect this because if for whatever reason you back out of the deal or breach a contract, the contracts lay out the penalty for this and it's not pretty. You're not doing this to lose. So please consider the numbers and your personal situation carefully before signing the dotted line and paying any money. Also consider that if you're investing for rental income and plan on taking out a mortgage, you want to make sure you'll be able to pay the mortgage with the rental income and hopefully have extra cash at the end. There are many other things you need to look into, but these are some of the main points that you need to consider right away to be able to go in the right direction. It's exciting just thinking about having your very own real estate investment property in one of the most coveted areas in the Caribbean, Punta Cana. So please take your time and consider all the moving parts involved in this. You will be one happy investor. Reach out to me and let's start a conversation. 2023 just may be your year to accomplish this goal. And don't forget, I'm going to be in Punta Cana starting January 16 for a few weeks. So let's make plans to meet and talk. My email is mikemasterspresents at gmail.com. You can also call or text me direct or via WhatsApp to 484-944-1621. Well, that's all I have for today. I hope you found value in today's video. Please help my channel by giving my content a thumbs up, become a subscriber, hit the bell so you get notified when new videos are published, and share it with others so they too can benefit from this information. And don't forget to visit my webpage, MikeMassesPresents.com, for informative articles under the blog tab. There's also pictures, testimonials, and more. And follow me on Instagram at MikeMassesPresents. Until next time, have a great day.